All right, Devin, it's that time. It, it is that time, and I see you've already reached for the beer. I'm, I'm ready to drink the whole damn thing. All right. Jar Jar Binks, here we go. Uh, he's finally introduced Phantom Menace. About 10 minutes in. Um, does the introduction of perhaps one of the most controversial characters in Star Wars work? Does his intro work? I think that my childhood was wrecked because I didn't have him. Um, no. Are you so f***ing kidding me? <laughs> um. <laughs> so, alright, so yeah. they, 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 they land, the invasion yeah. has begun, yeah. um, the Trade Federation yeah. contacts the droid army, yeah. can't find the Jedi, they're out there somewhere, right. don't underestimate them. And then we see Qui-Gon Jinn running along, yeah. and there's Jar Jar, not running away, just standing there, taking everything in, they Young collide, in the yeah. they collide, and history yeah. is made. History is made. So, does this, uh, I, I kind of like, I, I don't mind the introduction, I, I better be careful. Okay. I don't, okay. I don't love it, Yeah. but I don't have a major problem with his introduction. Yeah. I, no, I think the clip that we have him there, from my mm -hmm. perspective, is certainly... Tolerable, maybe yeah. even acceptable. Yeah. I think the things that I pushed back on mm -hmm. among my first viewings of that yeah. was what we see later, especially when we're you know sticking one's tongue into the things yeah. on the pod and stuff like that. <laughs> um, but yeah. listen, I, I've come to a spot where I understand the power of this character over kids. Yeah. And for that reason alone, I think this is a good introduction, and I need to get over myself. <laughs> yeah, I, my my eldest. Uh, when she saw The Phantom Menace the first time, loved Jar Jar. She saw the movie when she was about eight, yeah. seven, eight. Yeah. Loved Jar Jar, loves the movie. It's her favorite Star Wars to this day wow. because of this character. Wow. I can't believe it. Wow. This is my yeah. child. Wow. Like, my DNA is there. You know, I, you know, there's a moment where, you know, we cl they collide and mm -hmm. Qui Gon's like, leave me alone. Right. Jar Jar's like, no, you, I'm stuck. You know, we're right. stuck together. Right. You saved my life. Yeah. You know, I love you. Yeah. You know, yeah. And and then Obi Wan shows up. Qui Gon has to defeat some of the the battle droids that are showing up. And then there's this this conversation where Obi Wan's like, what's this? Right. And there's this the 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 special effects animators do a great job where they um, have Jar Jar just kind of give this like just goofy grin yeah. to to Obi-Wan and I, it's in those little moments that I don't mind the scene very much at all yeah so I the biggest problem I have I think if I were to say I have a problem with it is I'll be honest I had a hard time understanding him yeah. I still have a hard time understanding yeah. him and if he's obviously he's such a physical character you can get pretty much everything you need and right. Ahmed Best did amazing work Absolutely. which is the physicality of it I still like there's some moments yeah. like wait, what did he just say right there? Yeah. And maybe that's part of it. I don't know. Did you? Is that a problem for you, or is I don't it? I think it's a problem for me. I, yeah. I think it just it just it's part of who the character is, yeah. right? And if yeah. we're to understand interviews about this character and stuff, like it was something model after Goofy, right? From from Goofy. Disney. Yeah, so, Buster Keaton, like right. some of the Charlie Chaplin, yeah. and it and so works. I think that there's some pretty good connections with that yeah and I don't have a problem with that that physical comedy and, right. and I know it's not what we had seen up to that point right really before and so, I mean there were some yeah. physical comedic moments right but we didn't have a purely Buster Keaton Charlie Chaplin goofy right. from Disney kind of character right. and now we have one yeah. and obviously there's backlash against this character it's well documented um, but the intention of the character it's successful in my opinion. If that's the intention, yeah. then that's successful. Sure. And I don't have a problem with it at that point. Yeah. I have, do you view Phantom Menace differently now, now that you've arrived at that point? Yeah, and my daughter helped me. Yeah. You know, watching her watch it. I, I yeah. never really had that. You know, I did see it with younger people, you know, yeah. like other family members. And right. it, like, when it was my own child and the reaction is just joyful. Yeah. I was like... And there is something deeply wrong with my yes. soul. Your if little I'm green right. chart grew, <laughs> just uh, grew two <laughs> sizes. Um, yeah, it, it's it has changed. Yeah. I, I I'm not gonna like lie and say like I love this character. I mean, he's tolerable now. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, believe me, if we could get there with my in-laws. I'd be in good shape.
gonna be fun if they see that. <laughs>